there has been this focus that at the moment the political sudden tailwinds in the US aren't being baked in to crypto's price points right now. Do you agree? Uh, that's a good question. I, I do think that politics has played at least some role here, right? So this is one of the few uh, issues, crypto investing and cryptocurrency, on which we, we finally have bi bipartisan congressional support, which, as you know, is very much not easy to find these days. So, uh, you know, I, I, I do think politics plays um, a role here, uh, but not the entire role, right? Like there's there's also enthusiasm around uh, the finally getting the access to spot Bitcoin ETFs and, and, and advisors and institutions grabbing to that, gravitating to that, uh, that vehicle. And also there's interest and excitement around the spot Ethereum ETF, uh, potential of that coming to market. And when is that going to come? And uh, that's the, the next new hot topic, right? You know, Lara, it's a presidential election year, right? And, and all of your industry participant colleagues that come on this program say, you know, we love engaging with Congress in particular or in Europe with regulators. But it's interesting that crypto has become a point of policy. You know, there's the reporting that uh, former President Trump's very focused on crypto as a platform. What impact do you think that will have? Uh, I think it's helping to drive the, the conversation forward, for sure. Um, you know, whereas 18 months ago, 24 months ago, politicians could sort of afford to let it lie, and maybe it felt uh, like the it was a little too toxic. The Overton window has shifted a little bit. Now there's no ignoring the uh, the, the the reality that you know we need consistency, we need clarity on these markets, and uh, and and uh, you know it's time to start having those conversations. So. I, I, I think that uh, Trump coming out very much in favor of, uh, of, of Bitcoin um, has sort of helped uh, force the conversation to the forefront, regardless of where you stand on, on the political issue of it. You might be getting some clarity. You're not getting consistency. It seems to be slow, slow, slow all at once when it comes to <laughs> right. SEC approvals. And I'm interested, therefore, whether we get upended with other types of spot ETFs or whether really we do the ETH one and stop. That's a great question. It's the one very much top of my mind. So, um, you know, the SEC a few weeks ago approved this uh, special filing from stock exchanges that allows them to kind of change their rules and list spot Ether ETFs. But that's not the same thing as approving individual funds, uh, although it is a, a necessary first step. So now the SEC has the task ahead of it of actually uh, assessing and approving the individual ETF filings. Uh, so, you know, that's going to take some time. Uh, the, uh, that, that's actually SEC head uh, Gary Gensler's words, not mine. So um, you're going to see the issuers begin to update their filings. And, and that process does take some time uh, and, and is already beginning to, to happen. So, um, you know, the, com the, the timeline might be compressed from weeks uh, okay. instead of, you know, usually months.